just wanted to see one of my memories uh, coming down. I, I, uh, I didn't think this day would ever come, but it sure has today, hasn't it? Part of your life going, uh, going down there. And uh, when I first started back in the early 60s, I, uh, uh, my full-time job was right here. Oh, I don't even want to get started. I just feel like my sister pulled up and she was already starting to cry. These are our childhood memories. You know, what do you... I don't know. Sad that it couldn't be saved. That, that's the biggest thing is somebody just couldn't turn it into something. The banisters, the staircases inside were so much fun to run up and down as a child. And um, I spent my childhood really pretty much in this neighborhood. Just so to see it go down today, or the gym, and I remember the gym looks pretty small right now, but when you're a little girl like my great niece here, it's huge. Well, it'll be sad because I don't make it down here real often, but I always have good memories of this school and walking to school with my sisters. I don't think that there's just one memory. It's, it's the memories as a whole, coming here every day, um, having, uh, being in classrooms with your friends, knowing that all the kids that you lived, that lived in the same neighborhood came to school with you. We all went home together. Um, I just remember walking through the halls and just being a little girl. We started, I started here in fourth grade and went fourth, fifth, and sixth grade and walking through such a school that was so beautiful. The wooden floors, the wooden staircases, the banisters. Um, it, it was just a neat place to go to school and uh, I can't tell you I had one single bad memory here, ever, never. Well, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit to see the building come down. And it's just a shame that it couldn't be used for, you know, something else. But uh, I understand, even when I was at school uh, so many years ago, it was a maintenance nightmare. Uh, whenever there was an electrical problem or a plumbing problem, they had to get into the walls, and it was uh, very expensive to maintain. Um, my sister and I were talking about it when we got here. We had we had great teachers. I think that they there's a big difference now. Um, our teachers were very firm. Um, they wanted you to learn. They wanted to teach you everything they knew, and they wanted you to enjoy being in that classroom. But they were tough. Corporal punishment um, was dealt out daily. <laughs> I only got re I only remember once getting paddled. I don't remember what it was for, but. Once you got paddled once, you never got paddled again. You followed the rules. You did everything that you were supposed to do as a student. I understand why they had to close it down, but at the same time, that doesn't mean you have to like it. It's just a lot of, just a lot of memories going down the drain. It's just hard to watch it. This building can come down, but you know what? The memories are right here. <laughs>